All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving the question 28 from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook. And in this question, power is to be transferred from the pinion A to the output gear C inside a mechanical drive because of the because of output motion requirements and space limitations and idler gear B is introduced as shown and a force analysis has determined that the total contact force between each pair of meshing teeth has magnitude Fn which is 5500 newtons and these forces are shown acting on idler gear B. So we need to determine the magnitude of the resultant R of the two contact forces acting on the idler gear. So basically all we need to do in here is to find the, the resultant of these two forces. So the gear is turning counterclockwise, which makes the, the gear B rotate clockwise. And at the end, we'll have the gear C uh, rotating counterclockwise. And what we carry in here is the two, uh, the resultant of these two forces. So we can do multiple things. First of all, we have X and Y axis in here. We can go with X and Y components of each of these FNs. And at the end, we'll find the resultant. And the other way is to use the parallelogram rule. And for para which is probably the fastest way to solve this question, if we have vector 1 and vector 2, which may angle theta with each other if you want to find the resultant or r basically we have r squared is equal to v1 squared plus v2 squared plus 2 v1 v2 cosine of theta so all we need to do in here is just to find the angle theta and we are good to go to find the resultant so let's see how we can find the theta so we have to figure out some missing angles in here and uh, let's consider our vertical line in here and we know already this angle is 20 if we can figure this angle in here uh, that's going to give us a lot of information but how we can find this angle here uh, so we we're going to use the trick that we talked about before when we have two angles like that which are perpendicular, which each side is perpendicular to the other one. These two angles are the same. And what we have in here is the same thing. We have this one and this one. This one is perpendicular to this one and the other one is perpendicular to the other one. That means these two angles are the same, which is 45 degrees. So now that we have that, uh, let's draw the dotted line in here and what we figure out so far is that the Fn is making so this will be our Fn and we know this angle is 20 plus 45 which is 65 degrees and that angle would be same as this angle here 65 so we know here we have 65 degrees so that's the one on the right side and for the other one again let's see what angle does this make we know this is already 20 degrees so this will be the same and that means this angle right here is 20 degrees too uh, so this is just the line of action of the other Fn so that means in here the other Fn is making 20 degrees with the dotted line and if you want to show our R our R would be something like this again obviously our R won't be on the vertical axis because they have different angles but that's not what we are looking for in here what we are looking for in this question is just to find the resultant so r squared is equal to fn squared plus fn squared plus 2 
fn times fn times cosine of what we have in here which is basically 65 plus 20 degrees so it will be 85 degrees and since our fn is 5500 so we have 5500 square plus 5500 squared plus 2 times 5500 squared cosine of 85 and if we calculate this so this will be equal to 67 and our r would be the square root of the number above which will be 81 10 newtons and that would be the final answer for this question so yeah please make sure to subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any questions i'd be happy to answer those questions on if you have any specific problem from the three textbooks that we are covering in this channel feel free to drop it in the comment i'll try my best to cover those questions in the next videos you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.